It's an issue that's been a point of contention in the restaurant industry for a long time. Should female servers be mandated to wear high heels in the workplace? Well, the Manitoba NDP are saying no, and they've proposed a bill that, if passed, would give wearing shoes like these the boot. An inch to three inch heels is not conducive to a safe workplace for women. Um, and I would suggest that it is discriminatory in the sense that we don't ask men uh, doing the same exact duties and the same exact job to wear heels themselves. Bill 219 introduced Wednesday would prevent employers from requiring unsafe or inappropriate footwear on the job. And while it would apply to any workplace, the bill is predominantly aimed at the hospitality industry, where it appears to affect female employees the most. It intrinsically sexualizes women in the workplace. And in many respects, some people have suggested it is selling sex in the restaurant industry. Certainly in 2018, we can do better for women. I mean, I, I, I think it, honestly, it's a no-brainer. I can't believe that uh, it's gone on for this long. Talia Seerai is the owner and manager of Tallest Poppy and says she allows her female servers to wear whatever type of footwear they choose. You know, you're always looking around. You're always scanning the room to see if anybody needs anything, if anybody... You're not always looking at the floor to make sure that every step that you that you take is, is, the, is the best one. So if you're doing that in four-inch heels, that just sort of ups the, the danger level exponentially. Back in 2016, a photo of an Alberta server's feet bloodied after a full shift at a restaurant went viral. In her workplace, heels were a mandatory part of her uniform. And sometimes your shifts are six, eight hours. That would be, in my mind, very torturous to be able to work like that or, or, or being forced to work like that. Last year, the B.C. government introduced a law banning heels as a mandatory part of uniform. In a similar fashion, Ontario amended the Occupational Health and Safety Act last year to do the same. At the moment, Bill 219 has no penalty set for employers who don't abide, but Fontaine says the government will have a large role in public education, and she has faith that, if passed, employers will fall in line. Now, the bill passed second reading at the legislature today. It now moves on to committee. It's unclear whether the bill will pass before this legislative session is over. If not, it will have to wait until the fall. In Winnipeg, Erica Natividad, City News.